Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In this video uh, regarding building a mobile-friendly website, I want to talk to you about a contact form. It's real easy to put onto a mobile site. You have to remember, when you're developing for mobile, your audience is a little bit different than people who are sitting at a desktop. A mobile website's capable of doing some things you can't do on a desktop and some things that are the same. You also have to remember, most of the audience of people looking at a website on a mobile phone are usually out and about. They could be riding on a bus or sitting in an airport or riding in a car, hopefully not driving the car, but they're out and about and they're usually looking for something. They can make phone calls, they want to look up uh, an address, a location, they can watch a video, as we saw, and they can even fill out a contact form. They can even fill out a form, click a button, and submit their information and therefore land on some other web page that you've designed for them to get information. So a contact form is a perfectly appropriate thing to build into a mobile site. And with 90 Second Website Builder, it's really easy. And because I built some templates with contact forms in them, it's even easier. Here's how it works. First of all, you have to understand how a form works. When you build a form in 90 Second Website Builder, you use the form controls. And we have a little thing here called the form area for building a form. And I'm gonna build another form here on the side just to show you. I've already got one built, obviously, in the template but I want to show you how that works. So if I was going to build a form from scratch, I'd drag this tool out here and I would have a form area. It's empty, but it's ready to be filled with form objects. So, you know, I might want to put in a text area where somebody would fill in their name and I might want to put in another text area where somebody would fill in their, their phone number etc. I can also put in a text field that allows me to label this and format it that way. I can even put in the submit button where I want that and therefore continue building my form. What's happening here, what's important is all of these objects that I put inside this gray area are all part of the same group, all part of the same form and behind the scenes they're all handled by the same script because they're in this group. So in other words, if I put this text area out here, it will not be part of the form. Right now, this is not part of the form. Even though it looks like part of it's there, it's actually not technically a part of the form. It's not part of the form until you see that form light up, kind of like that. Now I've got it inside the right spot. So this form has four elements, two fields, a label, and a button. So why am I telling you all this? Because it's really important so that you don't have any errors, that you understand that all of your form objects need to stay inside the form. And sometimes when we design a form, it's not easy to see this gray area because of the way that it's been styled. So for example, I'm gonna delete this form. This form right here, it's hard to see because of the way it's styled. It's kind of a, a black on black, so you can't really see it. I've selected it so now you can see the outline of the form, and you can see that I've put these elements inside the form. In fact, you can even see that form light up. Let me grab something so you'll see what I mean. If I was to move the submit button around, as you can see, it's still inside the form area, which is outlined in blue. If I go outside of it, it is now no longer part of the form. Now it is, and now it isn't. I'm telling you that because you should be able to edit these form areas, add other text boxes and labels if you want to, and you should know that every needs, everything needs to stay inside that form area. On one hand, the form itself is an object that's all one, see? And yet, it also has several independent objects that can all be moved around. And the reason I point this out is because we're taking this form object and we're putting it into the jQuery accordion. Now remember, when you put something in the jQuery accordion, it has to be inside this area for it to work. So if I take this form object and I go like this, it's still not in the right spot. Not only visually, but technically it's not in the right spot because you can see it hasn't lit, lit up yet. Watch what happens when I get it in. Okay, now it's in the right spot. We know it is because of the blue outline that just popped up. If I leave it, now it's out, now it's in, now it's out. That's just really important when it comes to formatting and laying out the form. So here's the form object, which is inside the jQuery. Here's one of the objects of the form, which is now inside the form. Here it's outside the form, inside the form, okay? So I don't want to belabor the point. I just want you to know how important it is that everything's in the right spot. Fortunately, I built these forms for you already. So most of your work is done. Unless, of course, you want to add some things to it. And like I said, you certainly can. You could add more fields here. And this form is ready to go. However, there's a little bit of editing you'll need to do. When the form is handled, in other words, when it's submitted and sent through the system and processed the way it's supposed to be, there's some settings for that. I'm going to double click on the form. 
and I'll show you what those settings are. They're very simple. First, the form has a name, and the name can be whatever you want to call it. No one will ever see this. This is just for programming purposes if you ever want to look at the code. So you can call it my form or leave it whatever it is. It really doesn't matter. What's really important is that this box is checked, and on the templates, all these forms are pre-built, so this box will be checked. The most important thing for you to know is that this email address is going to be the email address you want the information in this form sent to. So in other words, this would be your email address as the website owner. So when somebody fills out this form, you want to receive an email from them. And so this is the address you want this form information to come to. When you get that email, there'll be a subject line, and that will go here. So this is the subject line you will read. You might even put in here as a flag to yourself, you know, form from mobile website. So you'll know what, what the email is all about. And then this next box is just the first sentence of the message area of the email. The rest of the email is going to be populated with the information that's in the form. So in other words, the email that arrives to this address will say this in the subject line, and the message will say value submitted from website form, and it will show the name and the email address that was submitted. From the user standpoint now, what happens for the person filling out the form? They click Submit and then they're taken to a thank you page that either delivers the information that they're asking for or simply says thank you for submitting your information or whatever you want it to say. Now what page is that? Well let's go back and look at the form settings. That page, in my case, I created a page for us here on the uh, template called thanks.html. So when the person fills out this PHP form, it goes to this email address, says this, and they land on the thanks.html page. So you can actually use this form as it is, as long as you at least changed this information so it came to you. Well, what's the thanks.html page? Well, it's just simply a page that I created in the template. Let me open it up. It just says, thanks for submitting your information. You can put anything you want here. You could even delete this whole jQuery accordion, and you could put the information here that they're looking for. Or you could put a video here that says, you know, thanks for submitting your information. Here's the video you, we want to show you. Or whatever. Whatever you want to tell them, whatever you want to display for them. This is where they land after they fill out the form. That's why this page exists. That should be pretty simple, but there's one very important detail you need to know about when creating or using forms. And again, I've already done it in the template, but I want you to know that it's there. When you are working with a form, you always want to make sure that the page the form is on, and in this case, it's on our index page. This page must be a .php, not a .html. Why? Because when we're processing this form, we're processing it using the built-in PHP form processor. That means this page needs to be PHP, not HTML. Well, how did I do that? Simple. I right-clicked on the page, page property settings right here. I can decide whether this page is, a, is an HTML, PHP, etc. And again, I've set these to PHP. Now, since you're working with templates, all that stuff's done. The PHP is already there. The uh, form's already built. You can edit it however you want to. I've even built a thank you page on every website. On every template, I put a thank you page that you can edit, and it's ready to go. So really, processing forms for you is a matter of making the form look the way you want it to look, making sure that it gets to the right email address when the form is processed. Make sure your thank you page has the information that you want your user to land on. And you're set. It's pretty much that easy. Remember, you can always edit the look of a form just like you can any object in 90 Second Website Builder. Again, you double click on the form object. We could go to style and we can change the way it looks. As you can see, I've got mine looking very black because I the style that I want. And uh, so I have a black background or, or actually have an automatic uh, background. You know, it's just set very plain because of the because of the style I chose. But you can also edit the style of each object in the form. And in this case, I made my text area boxes transparent because of the way I wanted them to show up on this black background. But you can adjust all of that and you can make it look like however you want. You can adjust the font, the way the font appears in the, inside the field, etc, etc. So as the template stands, it comes with a form with two fields, submit button, all ready to go, and a thank you page just waiting for you to edit them so that you can use them.